So this is actually more or less a bit of a repetition of what we've done here, but now we there are some phrases on for you to to and some words and sentences for you to understand, uh, and, and we can discuss even a little bit more on on the definition. So what is advocacy? Cards on the wall. We've we've gone through it. Eh? Action, campaigning, media attention, demonstration, lobby and expert meetings, and a whole range of different activities uh, that we can develop. And in your organizations, even, even through, through this course and through the coming period, um, I think with uh, success, also your success in advocating your messages depends a lot on your creativity. How creative can you be raising attention for your issue? A position paper, in the end, is just a piece of paper with a message in there. But if you present a position paper in a very creative way that is really clear what is in there, um, perhaps with images or through the internet or through... There are so many possibilities these days. So think a little bit about creative ideas on how to bring out your message. That, that, that's going to be important. So here we've seen the uh, <coughs> the continuum. It's it's just a repetition of what we've, what we've had with lobby, sort of on this side. Um, with lobby, then meant a harmonic way of getting uh, getting together with partners through research, through uh, discussions, through expert meetings. The entire continuum is actually working on advocacy for your topic and increasingly you need to resort to activism if the system cannot be pushed, if, if you don't feel uh, that your case is being heard or if you don't feel that your case is, has been dealt with in a democratic manner perhaps. Because sometimes you can fight for a case but simply the majority in your country actually doesn't agree then it's very difficult to move on with your topic. You, you may have to leave it. Huh? Um, what is policy influencing all about? Which different kinds of policy influencing exist? Is there a difference between policy influencing, advocacy and lobbying? We've seen a little bit about that. And what are the most important elements of effective policy implementation? These are the questions that we're basically raising for the coming period. And I will go in the afternoon, I will go through the policy influencing cycle, which gives you already the beginnings of the answers to these questions. Here once more, on the difference between advocacy and lo lobbying. Advocacy, and, and, and let me know if you don't agree or if you have questions on, on any of these sentences. Advocacy covers a much broader range of activities that might or might not include lobbying. So clearly you see here, lobbying is a much smaller and advocacy is a much wider. What we're trying to say here is that advocacy, the continuum, stretches from here to here, right? So lobby is part of that, a small part of that. But if I don't do lobby, the advocacy process still exists. So advocacy does not necessarily include lobbying. Yeah? And actually that it should be referred to lobby is always included in advocacy. Perhaps it's, maybe that makes it clearer for you, no? Usually. Yeah, usually. Lobbying usually involves attempting to influence legislation, policies, and decision-making. Advocacy. So now we come to some definitions. Advocacy is an action by an individual or a group in support of a cause, ideal, or policy to affect change, advance a cause, or raise public awareness. This sentence, is it complete? Are you missing elements? 
It's, it's one definition on the, of the National Council for Independent Living in the US. And the different agencies have different definitions. Let, let, let's perhaps look at the, change, uh, at the differences then. This one, witness and actions aimed at ch changing attitudes, policies and practices. Advocacy is a concrete and targeted action aimed at the wider public, members of civil society, governments, international institutions and the corporate sector. So they already specify a lot of different actors in the field in order to mobilize both popular and political support for effecting concrete changes. Advocacy is the deliberate process of influencing those who make policy decisions. A Peruvian activist said this, we're not certain whether we have a translation for advocacy or whether we should just use the word advocacy in English. Part of the confusion has to do with the way the concept was imported from the outside as if it were a new technology as if we didn't already know advocacy. Latin America's history is full of examples of people facing power. How can we think that advocacy is new? This man had trouble with the word advocacy because he felt it was introduced as a new methodology, a technology, something artificial. Whereas we all know, we've all been fighting for cases throughout the ages when even the word advocacy wasn't really common terms, no? 